This card's kind of underwhelming. Could only just like more cheap drops. Maybe this deck should just have like four foot line fiend. Or some knights. Spawn's been pretty good though. Drill bit's kind of good too. Maybe I'll try four drill bit. Try like no spawns. See what happens. Not sure this is gonna be good, but spell check on stream title. Did I? What did I mess up? Testing for the Mythic Championship. Classic. Classic Championship. That was an impressive one, just straight up skipping a P. Well, I'm glad I have all these one drops, but... You basically never want to keep a one lander and never want to keep a five lander. Slash six, seven lander, obviously. Deck mulligans very well. I see if you have to go down to five, it's kind of rough, but deck, deck mulligans well, because you, you just really want to go like one drop, two drop, three drop. I could have kept Frankel here. I could have gotten rid of drill bit. I think that would have been reasonable. Yellow hat Ijin. Uh oh, the red menace. I haven't played red much. Or at all, really. Aaron Barrage got to uh, Mythic rank one was mono red. Probably one of the first to get to Mythic period. Alright, their hand's not super good. I think they should have paid two life. I think that two life is worth the upside. Like if you hit a one drop, you get to cast it, right? The way it's during yeah. Hmm. Kind of close. Uh, I can bring back Gutter Bones. I can play a Midnight Reaper. I'm getting back Gutter Bones right away, maybe. If I play Midnight Reaper, I probably get to bring back Gutter Bones next turn, anyways. What if they have a removal spell for Priest? Oh, that's a Rogue. Oh wow, my play was really bad. Right, yeah, I messed up. They messed up too, actually. They should have, uh, they should have definitely uh, not played Cavalcade. What we call in the business, uh, comedy of errors here. I'm gonna use my priest. I think it's worth it. I draw three cards. I'll lose my Midnight Reaper, but I get back the Gutter Bones if I want to. Well, Ancestral Recall. Oh. Damn, that's so bad, too, because can't even ever use Castle. Oh, would you like to pay five life against a red deck to draw one card? Uh, oh, no, I'm good. Appreciate the offer.
a little landlord here. Yes, it's your landlord. Time to pay the rent. It's the fifth, the fifth of the month. Rent is due. All right, didn't matter. I mean, cavalcade is like it either gets there or it doesn't. But when it doesn't, it's literally a break. Just no impact on the board. All right, couple legions end. Couple finale. I think the rest is reasonable. Drill bit's probably bad. Spectacle might be hard to trigger. I kind of like Midnight Reaper in the red matchup. I'll trim one on the draw. I usually trim trim a bit on the draw, but Rankill might be a bit slow too. A couple of the rest maybe. Is the rest even good against their deck? Maybe the rest is just atrocious. Oh, protecting my priest seems nice. Who pays rent on the fifth? I don't know, man. I used to pay rent, I guess, at the end of the month. Would it be good the guy that trigger when you play Swamp as endgame in this deck? Um, with 21 land, including four castles, I don't think so. You could play a bigger version. You could play like a mid-range version was, I mean, Dread Presence is super sweet card. I love that card, but I think the aggro version of Black's a bit better. What do you think? I'll play Knight first. If they kill the Knight, they play another dude, then the Footline Fiend is going to be really good. Green? Oh, yeah, they had Stomping Ground in game one. Smash up is kind of like against against the this version of the deck, especially feel like kind of an attrition-y matchup. Yeah, the rest just awful against them. Well, I guess this is really good actually. I get to discard it to rain kill. I'm so lonely on the ivory tower, yellow hat pigeon. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not sure I'm actually supposed to make them sack a creature. Daddy Tal, alone in his 29 months ivory tower. Thanks, bud. I think he's. I see what's going on here, all the honking. It's kind of rush hour, I guess. People on the minor tilt. Am I gonna die with this finale in hand? Stuffness extra less.
So I think I want to make them discard. The question is, what do I want to make them? Do I want to make them sack a dude too? Probably. I don't know, the finale is pretty sweet though. All right. <clears throat> I love Rancal. It's a pretty interesting card. The only part that sucks about Rancal is that you almost never want to use the draw card mode. I basically, I basically only use it when, um, I basically only use it when I'm trying to kill them. Because your cards are usually worse than what your opponent is playing. Oh, they trade off. Huh. For red source, you control and deal damage to an opponent or permanent and opponent controls. Dude, this card's so dumb. Yeah, opponent drew a pretty good one, I agree. Think you're just afraid to use a draw card mode? Draw card mode is amazing. <laughs> Dude, unrealistic. He just loved being contrarian. And he just loved being wrong, too. Drug card mode is nice with gutter bones, I guess. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Say hi to my fiery friend. Should I block with gutter bones? Oh yeah, Pyhar Lelix with Stormbrim. Can you imagine? Wow, Pyhar Lelix is absurd. Just... <laughs> Attack and force block with Ranko. No thank you. I'm good. I am very good. Am I supposed to trade rank kill with Chandra? Alright, that's not too bad. I guess they just send the Phoenix in.
So in hindsight, forcing the trade would have been good. But forcing the trade, I think, was making it tougher for them. Also, by keeping land kill, if I ever draw a murder strider, I just went on the spots. So I'm not too sure what I was supposed to do. Alright, I'll keep playing this deck if I'm if I keep winning. Then I'll switch. Uh, What are the deck I was thinking of for the MC? I'm not even really at the stage where I'm like thinking of what I'm gonna play at the MC. I'm just playing playing some games. My favorite decks to play are this black deck and the adventure the black green adventure deck. I guess I haven't played much Golos. Golos is probably fun to play too. I played a bit of Golos in the past. It's always fun. So they're probably playing stacks. Playing reverse pretty good against Osef Kaya. Yeah, I'll just play the Reaver for now. It's like pretty good against Teferi. It's pretty good against Oath of Kaya. It gives me four points of power in play. So I get to pump my Knight next turn if they don't play any removal spell. If they just like play a Neg or something. I have to go like Knight, Knight, Drill Bit or Drill Build, Knight, Knight. No lifelink. Oh, then the turn I attack with the knights. Now I wanted to keep it to be able to block a Torban. The, the turn I didn't play the knight right away. Oh, Talisman, that's their turn. And I drew another drill bit. Nice. And they don't even have Kai's Wrath mana. Not sure if it makes a difference whether I play Footline Fiend first or Gutter Bones first. Actually, Gutter Bones is probably better. Now they can just tutor for like Oath of Kaya. But that is so greedy. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's good. Seems really greedy. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I don't know what they're hoping to draw. I made very little sense. <clears throat> I think playing Gutter Bones was better actually, because playing Gutter Bones is better if they tutor for Oath of Kaya. Because if they tutor for Oath of Kaya, only have a one power dude in play instead of having a two power dude in play. Yeah, I think opponent should have. I mean, they might still win the game. But I think Open didn't play this very well. I am kind of in the same spot. If I play a guy, the tutor Kaya's Wrath. If I don't play a guy, the tutor Oath of Kaya, I kill my parent. Yeah, I just have to play. How many guys do I have to play? Well, I guess I'll just play one. I think one is enough to force them to tutor for Kaya's Wrath. And now if I draw a land, I can tutor for Rain Kill and kill them. Actually, you know what? If I don't play anything and they get Oath of Kaya, they go up to six, I draw a card. And if I have land in my top two cards, I just tutor for Rankill and it's one, two, three, four, 
Sack a creature, draw a card. That's six damage. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. But if I don't draw a land, I kind of get tracked. Wow, snap top. All right, nice. Yeah, so I think I made a mistake last turn. <clears throat> Why was it a mistake? Because this way I have like two draw steps to draw my fifth land and kill them. I killed them with Ranko. And this, this way I only had like one draw step to draw the land. All right, I'm not actually sure Ashok's that great against them, but it's part of my sack. The, the nice thing is it's a permanent that you can sack to Doom Foretold. All right, what's bad in this matchup? Murderous Rider is pretty bad. Kills the Giant, they usually play one or two. Kills Liliana, they play one sometimes. Priest pretty bad. Do the lucky impression, please. What's the lucky impression? I don't even know what you're talking about. Have you liked this deck so far? I like it. I like it a decent bit. I don't feel like it has like any really bad matchups. Like Ashiok doesn't really like, if they take over, Ashok's probably not going to save you, but I think it just, like, it's, like, makes them a bit harder for them to, to come back in the game, I guess. But, like, if they get to, like, dance, yeah, it kind of, like, negates their dance out. Yeah, it, it's probably pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimating it. That's a really good draw. Cutting Priest? I think so. Is Priest good in this matchup? A mind is a terrific thing to weigh. The bone so thing? <laughs> what does bone so have to do with lucky? The bone so clip is pretty good. Empty your mind. Trigger. All right, let's play your chat. They have no cards in hand. They have a Doom Foretold. So I could draw and play Paragon in my upkeep, or I can Paragon and attack them. This seems more fun. And probably just a better line. Mono Black the best deck? I thought so for a while. 
but I'm not sure. Nothing seems as good as, you know, it was like a week ago. Because people's deck are getting better, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> the point of the wish card. Um, so it's a cheap permanent that you can just sack to Doom Foretold sometimes, and you can combo with Teferi basically. You use it, and then you use Teferi to bounce it back to your hand. So this is the spot where drawing Ash Shock is like really, really good because now they can like almost never come back if you if you do draw the Ash Shock. Actually, I should have drawn first, probably. Oh no, I should have gotten back my Gutter Bones. Uh, oh, drawing cards probably better than getting back a Gutter Bones. But like the thing is with the discard spells and Davriel, it makes it hard for them to even get to eight mana to uh to dance up the mans. All right, what do I lose to? Take four draw cards. Get back gutter bones. So let's see if they draw Dance. Probably want to play something. I'll just play it. Do I lose if they get that commands? Oh, Finale too. And I'm at eight. <clears throat> I know spawn, we're trying, trying something different. I feel like you don't really need it. There's a lot of sweepers. I'm just playing more cheap cards and more Midnight Reapers. One, two, three, four, five, set. Leaves me dead to Earth of Kaya. What if I block like that? I take one, two, three, four. I also die to Earth of Kaya. Hmm. That sucks. Uh, can I play around Earth though? If I block all, I don't die. But if I block all, I might not kill them next turn. I might not draw. Let's see. Because if I go like block, block, and block, I draw three cards and they can just Oath of Kaya my priest. And then the game goes on. All right, I'll block like that. I think it's reasonable. I'll finish their dude off. Because I think if they have Oath of Kai, I can still win the game. Easy. Should I flex? Nah. The BM. The BM Ash Shock. I would have felt bad too. They said good game. I'm glad I didn't flex on them. <laughs> I've been kind of mean. <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not promote toxicity on on the stream. If you if you if you know the person, I think it's acceptable. Was that two one or two zero? Oh? I think it was 2-0. 2-0. Gotta keep track.
No one drop. All two drops. Much better. You want to mulligan pretty aggressively. That's a tough one, though. That's really tough. You could get rid of land. You could get rid of Footline Fiend. Or you could get rid of Murderous Rider. Thing is, if you get rid of Fiend and you don't draw a 1 or 2 on 2, it's so bad. It's like really bad for you. I don't think you want to get rid of land because you're not a favorite to draw a third land in your top two cards. I almost want to get rid of Murderous Rider, but Murderous Rider is kind of your best card in some matchups. Dude, this is tough. I haven't played against a single, like, matchup where Murderous Rider... I'm just going to get rid of Murderous Rider. I guess we've played against a bunch of Simic Oko decks. Well, should have gotten rid of land, obviously. Fiend is super low impact, but not when you have Midnight Reaper. Well, it's still like pretty low impact, but it's better when you have Midnight Reaper. Look at, look at how good the Fiend is. I guess Murderous, Murderous Rider would have been insane in this matchup. The Red James, what's up, buddy? You seem very excited to see me. Ooh, Regisaur. Do you still favor Black Green Adventure? I haven't played it in a few days. I still like the deck. I just felt like I was starting to get in the mode where I just only play one deck because it's the deck I have the most fun with, so. I figured I needed to try and keep playing different decks. Not even sure it's naturally the best deck, but it was just definitely like the most fun deck. Could this deck exist without the castle? Um, how good is the castle? It's not like as good as it looks. Sure, you get to use it pretty easily, but the problem is if you're at the point of the game where you have to use it, you're probably not in super good shape there's like specific matchups like if you're playing like a matchup like that i feel like it's actually better against like aggressive decks than it is against um control decks because what happens against aggressive decks is that you trade you trade your resources and then you're in top deck mode and you win with the castle was in control when you're at the point where you start using the castle is just like too late. Whatever they're doing is usually better than the extra cards you're drawing. So it's like kind of interesting, I guess. I feel like finale should be good. Right? I guess Legion's end is good. The rest is eh. Let's see. I want all the one drops. On all the twos. Seems like Drill Bitch shouldn't be super great in this matchup. I'm going to try the removal. I'm going to see if Finale is good. Problem with Finale is that if they get like a bunch of dudes with equipment and they get their dudes to three or four tough toughness fast, it can just be really bad and slow. I don't even have priest. You know, maybe if you have the perfect one man was a priest, a legion zen, etc. But this is easy mulligan. That's kind of close. Probably that dude. Deck loves me today. The deck just loves me. I guess it was just one game where we got, the one match we lost, we got stuck on two lands. Can I get owned here? 
Do they play the Black Lance? Damn, damage pretty relevant. Think they might have had it, yeah. Each player draws a life or da 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 and Alright, I'll just I'll just go for the throat. I'm a big fan of making them hat, you know, make them have it. I mean, it's after sideboard, they should have it even more often. Looks like their mana is pretty bad. Like, right? I mean, there's no way they're going to sack this dude anyways. <clears throat> so might as well let them attack. All right, what now? Do I do it before blockers or after blockers? I'm at 15. Like, do I even want to use Priest? Oh, they have Embercleave? Yeah, they're going to have Embercleave. Maybe as a mistake, let him let him them attack first. They just never have it. They haven't had anything entire match. Just stone bricks. Yeah, I probably messed up. Should have given them Ember Cleave mana there. Doesn't look like it's gonna matter much. I've been there on the other side of the priest. It's not fun. Control, yeah, I mean, you turn into a control deck in these matchups. Paragon plus Priest control, yeah. Haven't really missed the, the extra free drops. I felt like... Mayhem was good at first, and Registor was good for me too when I was playing these cards, but... Hmm. Really haven't missed him that much. How good is Araya? I think it's... I don't know, I think there's some matchups where it's really good, probably, and some matchups where it's really bad. Like, I know the one time I felt really... The only time I felt really bad about a match, or it wasn't even really bad, but it was pretty bad about a matchup. I was I was playing against another mono black deck, except they were playing uh, bigger stuff. They had four Cavalier of Night. They were the like mid range version, and that was like a tough matchup. Seemed really really tough, and they had a Raya. I don't know. That's like pretty classic in Magic. You're almost always gonna lose to the same the, the person playing the same deck as you, but a bit bigger. You know, that's usually where you want to be in the matchup. Just 
just a bit bigger than what your opponent's doing. Do I not own Araya? Or maybe I never crafted them. Is it a is it a mythic? Well, how do you spell it? Ayara, right. Whenever it or another black creature enters a battlefield in your control, each open loses one life and you gain one life. You don't dump that many creatures in play usually. The only thing the only Games where you really go off is when you have Priest and Midnight Reaper going, but if you have Priest and Midnight Reaper going, you're probably winning anyways. I mean, it's good in board stalls and stuff, but it's a bit slow. Uh, I can see playing one Legions and main deck too, like one or two spots removal. It's good with Field of the Dead. Uh, that's true. You do make black creatures with Field of the Dead. It's great it was the cat combo. What's the cat combo? You asked her. Oh. The witch, uh, witch seven cat, yeah. Not about the cat combo. Cat combo is fine. I thought it was pretty good that, like, deck I played on pre release day was Regisaur, the Great Henge, Midnight Reaper, and you kind of went off. You're kind of like a mid range deck in some ways, but you had the reach with the cat. Anyways, I think I'm going to call it a stream for now, and uh, I'll be back tonight. I might play something different. It was a bit too easy. It was, uh, was a black deck, but I don't know. What else do I want to try? I guess I should play some Golos. I'll probably play some Golos in some adventure tonight. Golos best deck. That's what a lot of people say. Stacks. My problem with stacks is that it's a bit clunky. And I'm worried it might have some like pretty lopsided matchups. Narset was actually kind of bad for me today. It was slow. I think four is too many. How did the black deck do? Pretty good. We lost once to Golos. We lost to Sultai Golos where I felt like I got pretty unlucky. Then we won a close one again. The Golos matchup seems kind of close. Then we beat Red, we beat Esper Stacks, we beat Ragdos Agro, we beat Mardu Knight. Not sure Mardu Knight is really, you know, top tier deck. Not sure Ragdos Agro is really top tier either. But yeah, appreciate everyone watching. Almost 1,000 viewers on a Wednesday afternoon. I, I don't even usually stream on Wednesday afternoon, so that's really cool. I've been really liking... It's funny, I was listening to the Arena Decklist podcast, the Jerry T... Uh, Brian Gottlieb podcast and they said that on pre-release day they didn't really get to play they just had like a bunch of streams open and the one thing that Brian noticed is that like everyone just had a smile on their face just all day like 15 smiles at the same time just I don't know new formats fun this format seems fun looks like Golos might be the the boogeyman. People are starting to complain about Golos. How do I beat Golos? But I think there's a few decks. I think we're doing good with Fires. Jeskai Fires against Golos. It looked like your plan trumped their plan yesterday when I was playing the deck. And I think the very the, the aggressive deck, like I think the mono black deck is pretty good against it. I think Adventure 2 is pretty good against Golos if you play Reaper, the discard spell. If you go like Lucky Clover into Reaper of the Night, it's it's pretty good against them. Arboral Grazer, the Boogeyman. Yeah, it does feel like Grazer is just like, it's so good. So when it's good, it's really, really good. It's just so unique. It's the only card that does that. Siggy's so playing some drafts, just loves Limited. For the Frenchies, if... People are looking for a French stream. Girock, he's in the MPL. He's really, really good at magic. Magoose. Magoose playing some memory. I'd rate Siggy. He rated me yesterday. Siggy deserves more love. I haven't drafted yet. 
I'll figure out draft after the the Mythic Championship. I'll have a few weeks to to practice draft for Richmond. Are there any budget decks that could still be viable at the moment? I'm missing a lot of rares and can't make any of the decent decks. Uh, Let me see. What about this deck? These are all old cards. Like, if you already have these cards, there's Paragon that's new. It's good in the deck, but it's not essential. I mean, honestly, even Murderous Rider. How many times did we cast Murderous Rider today? Like, I feel like once, twice. I wasn't even like, I mean, it's a good card, but and it's your best card in some matchups, probably. But. Rankill is mythic. Rankill's pretty good. I think you can maybe play this deck. I guess Castle. Yeah, I don't know. It depends, like, what you have. Oh, you're a brand new player? Yeah, dude, I don't know. Check out uh, MTG Goldfish. Do you know that site? They do They do budget deck lists for Magic Online, and I'm assuming they do budget deck lists for, uh, for Arena as well. But I'm not sure. Or Google, Google like budget decklist arena and see what you find. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I'm I'm richy rich over here. I just spend dollars when I don't have the cards. <laughs> Black Green Adventure, yeah. Black Green Adventure is a lot of commons and uncommons. Uncommon, 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 common. There's once upon a time. The deck's much better with once upon like love struck beast is only uh, i mean there's still like eight rares and you still need the dual lands i mean even that deck maybe the white yeah i I would just check the internet i'm sure you can find something if you look a bit anyways i'm gonna rate siggy and uh i'll be back tonight for some more standard Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's see what's uh Oh, World of Warcraft. I've never played World of Warcraft. Probably shouldn't start now. The lands are what kill me. Yeah, the dual lands. I mean, yeah, having good mana and magic is important. <clears throat> You definitely have to craft your first deck carefully because your first deck is not too too hard to get with what they give you in the five bucks bundle and stuff but after that it gets rough never starts why it leads your life away yeah i've heard I've, I've i've heard one or two stories in the past 20 years all right later everyone